Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create this website design from scratch using Figma. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a frame and we're going to select the desktop and 1440 pixels of width. Now let's double click on the frame and uh, we're going to rename it to one. And now we're going to add the background color. So let's make it at half. And we're going to select a linear gradient, which uh, is going to be essentially the, the base for this. But even before we do that, we're going to make this uh, purple. And then let's select the linear gradient. Let's make it 100%. And let's change uh, the color just a little bit and uh, here we go all right now let's uh, start adding the text and here we're going to write simple headline we're going to use lato which is a free google web font and we're going to increase the size quite a bit and also make it bold and let's uh, center it over here and we're going to create uh, two boxes. But before we do that, let's do one thing and let's uh, just lock this uh, background layer. I'm going to duplicate this right in login. Let's make this login just a little bit smaller. Bring it here. And we're also going to add a small logo which is essentially going to consist in a rounded rectangle. So let's increase the size. Let's make this rounded quite a bit. And let's make it just a little bit smaller. And probably let's add one element, one logo element inside. I'm going to change the color, maybe something like that. All right, so we have our base logo. Let's group it together. Let's like this and let's uh, center it. And uh, here we are. All right, <clears throat> at this point, we're going to create the two rectangles. First one is going to be here. Let's round it up just a bit. And we're going to create the second one as well, which is going to be just a little bit smaller. Let's double click on it. Let's reduce. Uh, and uh, at this point, we're going to make this one white and uh, add uh, just a bit of a drop shadow to it. I'm going to make it a very smooth drop shadow and uh, just give it maybe around uh, 7%. I'm going to use Option Command C and Option Command V here in order to copy this drop, this drop shadow. Make this one smaller. And we're also going to make this one way darker. And probably also a little bit more towards a blue tint, just a bit. And that will do. All right, now we're also going to duplicate this rectangle, bring it over here, remove the corner, and uh, we're going to change the color to a bright um, yellow that goes towards the orange. Let's bring it over here. We're going to increase the size of this guy just a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to duplicate this one as well and make a, a lighter version for the call to action, which we're going to create in just a, a second. All right, so we're going to remove the border radius over here. And now it's time to add all of the details and specifics about the product. So we're going to write here, 
starts from then we're going to have the on the value and let's uh, just lock these guys for the time being I'm going to write dollar <coughs> I'm going to make this regular now let's add a dollar amount let's increase the size let's do it quite a bit let's make this lighter and then let's use this for the second text Alright, <clears throat> so that's that. Now let's add the different value propositions. Let's make these a little bit smaller. Let's duplicate this a few times. So at this point we're also going to create a different uh, checkboxes. So I'm actually going to grab this one. Let's bring it here. Let's make it smaller. we're going to essentially try and find a color which works well all together more towards the green let's make this one significantly darker now we're going to select group them and duplicate them a few times Uh, we're also going to make them a bit smaller. And the text is going to be a bit towards the gray side. All right, let's try to get started. Enter this up. Let's increase the size just a bit. Right, so we have uh, the very first one, and uh, I'm going to change the color in something quite uh, unusual, I would say. That's going to make it more interesting visually. So we're going to <coughs> go ahead over here and we have a little bit more towards the blue i'm going to sample the same color for the month and uh, here we have it all right so far we're good and doing good now the punchline by now so all right now it's time to to the business section so let's write in business <coughs> let's increase the letter spacing a bit 
center it again. Let's write some text. to make all of this white. Let's bring this one here, center it up. I'm going to increase the line height between uh, these items. Now let's create the trifecta first benefit we're going to write here second benefit we're going to have a divider line in between let's make it lighter And we have it. All right. Now let's write over here. Contact us. And we're going to add the items below now. So let's go back in Google icons. Let's write in world. And let's add this element right here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And we're going to make it uh, kind of a bluish tint. Maybe a little bit lighter. Make it smaller as well. And we're going to duplicate this guy. This one is going to be darker and more bold. We're going to increase the size of this font as well. Let's bring it over here. And this is working well so far. Let's make it just one step smaller. And now we're going to add uh, a sort of a testimonial section. So let's add uh, a image here and uh, right below that, we're going to have the text. the size let's center it up I'm going to
All right, so doing all good. So let's use content reel now. We're going to add the plugin from here. Let's select the image again. Let's go under image avatar. And this one works pretty well. We're also going to add the three dots below. This will have a basic navigation. We're going to change the color over here. All right. So I think we pretty much got it. And uh, yeah, uh, this uh, is uh, pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, I'm going to see you on the very next one.